Hello everybody, today we're going to be going over how to use uh, roly-poly. Um, okay, so now you'll, now you'll want to take your screw um, and match it up perfectly with the exact bit because um, it seems to work, make the screws last longer. So I'll put, put my uh, first one in, square this up with the table. Put my second screw in. Okay. Now I want to make sure that the motor is screwed on all the way. And okay, the next step is to get your voltage regulator or your um, battery pack or whatever supply you're going to use to plug into your uh, roly-poly do go ahead and do that now and then um, turn on your battery pack your, or your voltage regulator um, so a lot of you will start out with a 12 volt battery so I'll just I'll just do the, the test here at 12 12 ish volts And I'm just going to set this off to the side, out of the way. You'll notice that the shaft is rotating this way. And um, the iron is going to be rotating this way. So you'll want to put your material in this side of the pan and work it back. When you're doing this wet, you'll want a good, a good amount of water sitting above the material. Okay, and then also when I set this down, I'm going to put the magnet on this farther over here and work it, work it back. And I'm going to try to take the bulk of the material off and start sweeping it towards the the bottom of the pan. Now, watch as I do it here. So I'm taking taking the material slowly off the top. Working it back. Just like this. So I'm not rushing it. I'm just letting it do its own thing. Now I could do this faster if I was in a hurry. But I want to just show you that you can just take your time, move the material back okay I'm going to make another pass bring the material to the top work it and then I'm going to slowly bring this group of material back I'm watching to make sure I don't have any gold with it Keep doing that. So I get all the material moved. It's iron. Okay. Now the rest of this stuff you have to pan. I recommend um, sort of just keeping your roly poly here while you pan. Um, make sure when you tap that you don't get any iron up there. Sort of just, I like to just tap like this. And then just keep pulling my iron back with the roly poly, use it like a gate. Okay. And dump out a little of this water. Okay, now when I was dumping, I got the iron moved up, so I'm going to move that back again. 
Okay, now I'm just gonna try to shuffle this material back without without getting any of the gold to come down, which I'm probably not gonna do a very good job of, but I'm just gonna try to quickly get through this pan so y'all can see. Now this actually can grab this uh, slightly magnetic stuff. So the way I do this is I'll just really slowly, just slowly let it pull on it. And it will gently roll this stuff back. Okay. So now we've got, we've got most of the gold sitting up there at the top there like that. Tap it up. All right, that's probably as good as I'll get it. Um, I'm prob pretty sure that I lost some gold down in here. We'll see. I don't know. Another one. Yeah, a chunk, one little piece there. So I'll probably want to do this a couple of times. Another trick that I like to do: plunger magnet and actually pull that off, just like this. Because I know it's away from the gold, it's pretty safe. And then I'll just take this stuff, um, and I'll just set it in another pan somewhere. Okay guys, this is the gold that was in that scoop there